let us look at proposition number 30 of book 6 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says to cut a given straight line in extreme and mean ratio. By the way, this is also called the golden ratio. And what this means is we have to find a point on AB such that AB is to A is equal to AE is to EB. Or in other words, the whole line segment divided by the longer part is equal to the longer part divided by the shorter part of the segment. Okay, now how do we actually find this? Because here I have just shown it to explain. But there is one particular spot where this would be true. So we have to find that spot. Okay, so here majorly we are going to be using our previous proposition where we were applying a parallelogram equal to a given rectilinear figure to a given straight line but exceeding it by a parallelogram similar to a given one. Okay, when the point comes I will again mention that. So, what we first do is draw a square on top of AB. So, let's draw the square and let's mark these points. We construct a square whose sides are half of AC. Now, instead of doing it on AC itself, I'm going to do it separately so that I can move it around. This is our square which is whose, uh, whose side is half of AC. What we need to do is construct a parallelogram equal to this on AB. So again we know how to do that. So let's do it. So this is equal to this and Again, this is being constructed on AB. This parallelogram is equal to this. And we are constructing it on AB. Now, if I position it here, what we have to do as part of our previous proposition, we have to construct a figure similar to this, which means that will also be a square, but equal to CB plus this green rectangle. Again, we know how to do that. So let me do that. Again, I'm doing it step by step. And then we will have this brown is equal to BC and this is equal to this. We have to find the third proportion. Okay, we know how to do that. I've done it down. Okay, just to give you an idea, I have done that. And what we have to do now is construct a square similar to this, but equal to this entire thing. So this similar to this and equal to this entire thing. If I move this here, you will notice that the diagonal passes through this point as well. They are similar. And this is equal to the sum of these two. Now we position it and we position this so that it, the top left hand corner of the green and this blue matches. And we extend these lines to the other rectangle that we have. So if we extend the E to F, which intersects with CH. This would already be there. This would be the intersection of FD and AB. Let's see how by looking at this, we can arrive at this proportionality. We know parallelogram BC, this brown one. BC is equal to CD. What basis? That is what we did, no? By applying the previous proposition. We constructed CD which exceeds CA. 
pi a figure similar to this. So parallelogram BC is equal to parallelogram CDR. Just to avoid any confusion, let me remove this off. This is the only thing that we require. From BC and CD, BC and CD, we remove CE. So BC minus CE will give us what? FB and CD minus CE will give us AD. So that means parallelogram AD is equal to parallelogram FB. And we know they are equiangular. Again, based on one of our previous propositions, since they are equal and they are equiangular, that means the sides of these two parallelograms are reciprocally proportional. That is, Fe is to Ed as Ae is to Ed. But Fe is equal to AB. Why? Because BC is a square. AB is equal to BH. Right? BH is equal to Fe. That means AB is equal to Fe. So that means we can substitute Fe with AB. And again, ED, this is also a square. AD. So that means ED is equal to AE. So we substitute ED with AE. So we end up with AB is to AE as AE is to EB. So we have arrived at the extreme and mean ratio. And here AB is greater than AE, which means AE is greater than EB based on the proportionality. So we have arrived at what was required. This is the same. Uh, uh, thing that we did in proposition number 2.11. But of course, there we had a different construction. Here, we have already covered the concept of ratios, proportions and similarity. So, here, those concepts are being applied. That is proposition number 30 of book 6 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it and refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now.